Hello friends and welcome to Noclip Summer Jam, a week of fun videos here on youtube.com slash noclip video. Uh, we're gonna start things off with a theme of travel. Uh, travel, we used to do a lot of it for Noclip. We used to fly around the world talking to developers, uh, uh, both here in the United States and Europe. We even went as far as Japan once. And that's what we're gonna share with you today. You see, when we went on location, we often filmed these behind the scenes sort of featurettes and we shared them with our patrons. So all of those have been behind a paywall since we started four years ago. Uh, so given the week that's in it, we've decided to share one of them. And in fact, we are gonna share our favorite one, the one we filmed when we did our documentary on Final Fantasy XIV. So without further ado, this is the full feature of us two dumbasses who'd never been to Japan before, trying to deal with weird double mayonnaise pizzas, menus that we couldn't decipher, and subways. Oh, and all the, uh, the drinks, the, the vending machines. Oh, also there's some stuff about Final Fantasy in there too, I think. It's been a while since I watched it. Enjoy. Hello friends, it's April 2nd, 2017, and I'm about to fly to Japan for the first time in my life. Uh, it's also the day we put the Witness documentary up. It's, uh, it's been up for about two hours, people seem to be into it. I've spilled the beans on Discord that this whole Japan trip is about Final Fantasy XIV online, uh, and people seem to be into it. Although, I did tweet from the Noclip account that we were doing something about a red moon, and then immediately everyone thought it was Zelda and Bloodborne. So, whoops, I guess. Japanese, I mean, I should have known, literally the Japanese flag is a red moon. I should have known that all of their games legally have to have a red moon in them. Um, Jeremy's already uh, on a plane, he got a Skyliner. There's two different airports in Tokyo, I think it's Haneda and Narita, is that right? I hope so. Uh, because we had to book them separately because Jeremy didn't have a passport. And I'm a little bit nervous because I'm flying with all of the big camera kit. I'm flying with like three bags and I'm hoping that they don't give me shit about it. We've got like extra paperwork for customs and stuff just in case they're weird about. Honestly, I've been nervous about this trip for the past couple of days. Once we get to the hotel and I see Jeremy there because he's arriving like four hours before me, um, I'll be relaxed. So until then, I guess you're just gonna have to keep me company. So I got through immigration okay. They were a little bit weird about my Irish passport, which gave me like a minor heart attack that I hadn't done all the visa prep that I needed to, uh, but I had, and it was all good. Um, and now I'm a good 90 minute early for boarding here at A7 and SFO. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like too much of a full flight, so I'm hoping it won't be it won't be too bad. Um, I'm spending a bit of time doing work <laughs> in, the, in the hour I have before this all kicks off. Um, and really pleasantly surprised by how well the Witness uh, video is doing. Real-time stats on YouTube say it's um, it's done 30,000 in the first uh, five hours, which is, which is really cool. Uh, on board to, to get a pretty high number, which, you know, we don't play that numbers game, but it's always, uh, it's always fun to see people really digging it. I think putting it up on Sunday helped as well with Reddit games and stuff like that. So. Um, the ATM wouldn't let me buy yen from it. The, the like machine rejected all of my cards, and I was like, "What the fuck's going on?" And um, so I went to like the bureau de change office and uh, basically bought every last piece of yen that they had. Something like I have it. It's like it's like forty four thousand yen or something. I, don't know. I went up and she was like, "I've only got forty eight thousand left," and I was like. I think I was like backwards programming. I was like, I think that's about five hundred dollars worth. Although I might be buying four thousand, five thousand dollars worth of yen. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I clean her out of yen, so I've got all this hot, might be fake ass money for my wallet because uh, a lot of people on Twitter told me that you cannot spend credit cards are not ubiquitously accepted. Uh, in Tokyo. I've got the easy commute. Uh, Jeremy has to get, he's flying into um, the other airport. I'm flying into Haneda, which is in the city. He's flying into, I forget the name of the other one. I'll put it up now. Which is uh, like a good 90 minute train outside of the city. So he's gonna have to get his ass in. That's why I took the big bags. Uh, Cause I'm gonna hopefully try and get a cab straight to Shinjuku, uh, but we'll find out. Um, yeah, just me and a bunch of Japanese schoolgirls flying our asses 11 hours to Japan.
Hello, welcome. Actually, should I even shout in here? Welcome to the smallest hotel room I've ever been in. This is the door. You were in the door. Can't even get in. Here's the bathroom. Spoilers. It's got a. Oh shit! Do I have one of those? Do I have one of those magical toilets? Do I have a magical toilet? It's got a heater. It's got a heater. It's not that magical. It's not that magical. It's got power, so it's pretty good. But oh, I take it back. Oscillation on or off. I don't know what the fuck that means. And the operations are in Japanese, so. Yeah, except that's some hot patroni content. Here's the rest of the room. My favorite thing about this, I think, apart from the fact that they've given us. They've given me two sets of pajamas. <laughs> Um, it's the fact that the television is as big as the bed. <laughs> uh, you got your desk area, of course. You can get your work done while you're looking at. Um, is this a deep water horizon? This is this the Japanese version of deep water? I have no idea. We've got our ego fridge. Nothing in it. Got a blow dryer in the desk drawer, as you do. And do I have a do I have a view? Do I have a view? Let's find out together. Oh, I do. Kinda. Here's Shinjuku down there. Kind of. Shinjuku's kind of over this way. I think. A little bit more, but we ain't seeing that. All right, I gotta find Jeremy because he got here like hours ago, uh, and it took me forever to get in on the taxi, and then my Irish ass surname made it impossible to sign in. I was, I was trying to check in for like 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go see my friend. I'm so, I'm so glad you opened the door. Hey there. Yeah, I'm glad I wasn't some fucking like tourist from Belgium. All right, let's do a no clip cribs. Uh, so I'm here in my crib. It's about uh, it's about 25 square feet. You know, all the room, all the ladies. The door. So uh, this is my this is my suitcase where all my clothes live. Okay. It takes up about ten, one ten percent of the room I'd say. Uh, and then this is the this is the rest. You know, I got this is my terminal. This is where I this is where I entertain. You know, I, this is my bed. Meter. Oh sh! There's a oh. So you've played with the toys. What the oh, fuck is yeah. going on? I'm just. Is the room haunted? Do you have it set to haunted? Just for, you know, ladies love it when you treat the lights a little bit. They don't. <laughs> the ladies don't like static light. They like dynamic light. Yeah. So <laughs> sets the mood. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Welcome to fucking Tokyo. Yeah. Where, show me your desk area. Uh, this is this is the skinny people only desk. Right. Yeah. Or my underwear. No chubs allowed. I'm gonna get no, no work allowed. done this week. Um. But <laughs> they they put a Domino's menu here so that uh you know you you start being. <laughs> Fit. And you order a bunch of pizzas. Welcome to Japan. This one Here's has Domino. Okay, so this one has corn, potato, parsley flake, mayonnaise, doubled. Double mayonnaise. Double mayonnaise. You never have too much mayonnaise <laughs> on your pizza. I, <laughs> I've been advocating for mayonnaise on pizza for years. Like dip, I dip my pizza in mayonnaise, but even for me, I know I feel bad about it. The idea of like having mayonnaise on the pizza by default is terrible to me. Having it doubled yeah, is a like, fucking tragedy. Yeah, I just I don't want to talk about it. So Jeremy wants to go home and eat real pizza. I was I really liked Japan until I realized there was mayonnaise pizza. <laughs> now I'm done. <laughs> my goodness. How was your flight in? Uh, it's fucking so long. So yeah. Long, oh, yeah. you've never. So this is your first time outside of America. Uh, yeah, the longest flight I've ever done is right. uh, California to Massachusetts, which and is that was like six, six hours. Six hours. Right. Yeah. It was like eleven. Yeah, it was a lot. Did you have turbulence? Yeah. Oh my god, the plane fucking. We went through a lightning storm. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, the weather was, was fucked up. For people watching, that's fucking. It was raining and thunder and lightning like an hour ago. Oh really? Yeah. yeah, yeah we insane. went through that, and it was like I was doing one of the like. Divine beasts in Zelda, <laughs> and it was it was moving around, and that was like my coping mechanism. So haptic, yeah. It's, it's like the ultimate <laughs> haptic feedback. It's like it's something you'll have like a pod. You sit in a seat like that, but you just can take a plane. Otherwise. Yeah, it was a fucking yeah. Uh, and then they took, couldn't check me in because my weird name. Um, oh, too too Irish. Yeah, yeah. too Anglo. Super Irish. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was really worried when I got money out in the airport in San Francisco that it was fake because <laughs> I fucking it's so papery. Yeah, it's so I like I my fucking butt pocket is just like full of coins because I broke like a five thousand yen and they just <laughs> right. gave like I've been my pants are falling down. I got fucking this is not even Domino's pizza. I'll bet looks you. Looks great. Looks like some old world money. Did you get one of the ones with the holes in it? No, I didn't. One That's of them's got I a hole. It's like a fifty a fifty cent or whatever the 
five, 500 yen or 50 yen, I guess. Those are the ones you did. Wait, that's 500 yen? So yeah. this is a five dollar coin, <laughs> basically? Coin. Yeah. Wow. I just want to throw it out there that I've, I've never been to a strip club uh, in any country, <laughs> but I wonder how you, like... They get you, paid over how here. You, how do you throw <laughs> coins at a naked woman safely? The, well, there's two things. One of two things is happening. Either the strippers are getting fucking paid in Japan, yeah. uh, or they're wearing, like... Like pants with pockets in yeah, them. It's like a jingling around. Jingling on the phone. Little fanny pack. Yeah. Yeah, it's not very right. appealing. Hey, should we go get some food? Yeah, I'm so hungry. I'm waiting for you. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> This is fucking nuts. Yo, you wanna go to Big Drug? Yeah, I do. That's my favorite. Check out some fucking Gojira. He's coming in. It's really sad now because the, the, the new Godzilla is like 10 times bigger than that. <laughs> Jeremy, we're in a we're in a very weird restaurant. Yeah. I, need, I need you to talk. Oh, beer, beer, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I need to I need to learn Japanese. I feel bad saying thank you. I, yeah. Go to the Sega store. La. It's in our house. Yeah. <laughs> you get this is like a fucking steam controller from before it had the things in the middle. Dude, you gotta get your Bama passport on there. Oh shit. This is fucking tournament. Look at these, what are these orbs? Oh, that is the shit right there. Go that way, suck the ghosts. Got it. Give me your fucking money. Oh, it's got four speed bugs. Oh, it's so haptic. Four speed bugs. I can feel the coin. Can you hear the coins going in? I can. Oh shit, gotta blow up the fucking spiders. Alright, alright, the professor is saying something. Oh, the gun shoots rainbows now if I push the button, apparently. <laughs> I'm Fatty Rollin. Oh yeah. Yeah, you wanna you wanna wait a minute? Yeah, huh? We're good. Cool. Sweet. Good morning friends. Hello and welcome. In case you haven't noticed. Because there's a 7-Eleven behind me to Japan. Uh, we're outside our Appa Hotel where Seven Jeremy had a decent night's sleep, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, alright. We had some McDonald's for breakfast and uh, all of our equipment worked. So today was the day that if, if everything was broken, or if, for instance the lights didn't work, which is the big sort of thing we were worried about, uh, that we're gonna go and, and sort all that shit out before we uh, go uh, talk to the good people at Square Enix, which is a couple of blocks down the road uh, about Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, but it's all working, everything's good. Electricity works here and we're happy. So we basically just have a day to do whatever we want. Uh, we're, we have all other stuff lined up for B-roll, like Akihabara and all the other districts uh, throughout the week. So today's kind of a freebie. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just basically fuck about, get on a subway. Jeremy hopefully won't get knocked down by a cyclist on a mobile phone that was so close. Uh, and we're gonna go, uh, I guess the first stop is some fucking culture in the Imperial City. Is that what it's called? Maybe it's the Imperial Palace. I don't know, I'm a shit tourist. We're in the wrong station, but we'll, we'll do a track swap. See if we can figure it out. <laughs> we'll either get lost forever or we'll be fine. How fucking big the screen is. Uh, I want to buy like a value ticket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One day economy pass. Child, child, no. Why is it only children? Why is it assuming I'm a child? Passport. Can you just get a passport? <coughs> Stick some money on it. Is that really cash? I 
a pass no card drop. <laughs> Testament to how good like Japanese people are at being ordered. They're just like walking on one side of the fucking car. <laughs> It's like it's like it's like the UK. It's like Ireland. Man. You just walk on the left side. Coming up on a witness puzzle. <laughs> All right, Danny. We're uh, we're in the Tokyo subway system. So we're at we're at Itabashi and we're trying to get to Takabashi. I think is only two stops away. Jeremy's been very helpful because we have I have Google Maps, I have this app, and then there's the, the like the screens they have here, and they all use like totally different colors. So <laughs> it's no help. I'm looking for like using my like London. Oh, I'm looking for the blue. I'm looking for like the Metropolitan or like the Central Line. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think I think I know where we're going. The door to it's nowhere. A, it's a metaphor. We might be on the other Hey, what's up? Uh, we're in the Tokyo Imperial Palace, uh, which has got the biggest moat I've ever seen. I don't know about Jeremy. Um, we eventually found our ways here, and I feel like I'm the only person not wearing a suit. Everyone in this country is so goddamn well dressed. Um, yeah, this is where the big Imperial Palace is, apparently. It's like free to walk around, it's just like a cool park. So, I don't know, maybe there's like a tourist thing we can do while we're here? Uh, I mostly just wanted to get out of where we were, like Shibuya and like where we're going and like Akihabara and stuff is like super dense, you know, very downtowny out here. You know, you've got all the big buildings in the background, there's obviously a lot of like business happening here and it's just a bit more open and whatnot. And we're not going to see a lot of that this week because we're pretty much working where we're working. Uh, so yeah. A lot of cherry blossoms. For some, I spent most of last week playing and editing the witness footage, so I feel right at home. <laughs> oh, apparently, this is the site of a big tower that was like never built. <laughs> like they tried and failed to build it multiple times. It was a fire, and someone else took over the castle, and we're like, we don't need a tower. And then earthquakes. Uh, so yeah. This is this is every Minecraft project I've ever done, basically. <laughs> Where's the castle? It's probably this guy, isn't it? I don't know, it's rivers. This looks like a lot of shit going on here. Tea house. walk around the outside, I guess. Sure. So we've been walking around the castle for the past like 40 minutes or something. It's really beautiful here. There's like cherry blossoms everywhere. It smells amazing. Everyone's so quiet and polite and it's lovely. Uh, we just came down from this like the area behind the moat and there's like this nice little forest here. We've been looking for a castle like the whole time we've been here like like you know you know London style brick fucking castle right. We ran we, I've done no preparation for this, so I have no idea. But now I'm trying to think: like, is, is, is that is the castle burnt down? Like, the, is that why there's no actual castle? Because there's like they say there's like a tea room here, and there's you know the moat, and there's all the there's a couple of like rooms. One of the rooms we found, or one of the buildings we found, was literally a stone building which they used as like their backup hard drive for like documents. They said like this is the bunker we keep the documents because if a fire happens, at least they'll be safe in the bunker. And that's literally like the only building that's over there, so I think maybe everything else burned down. I'm not sure. I should probably look at Wikipedia. So we're gonna keep wandering around and I guess, I thought the tea room was like an ancient tea room, but looking at it now, I think it actually just might be a tourist <laughs> tea room, so. 
Japan. Japan. <laughs> We did some more exploring. We found the most beautiful little bonsai garden thing. Kind of chilled out, spent some time there. And we reckon, through some hot internet sleuthing, that in fact, the palace has not burnt down. <laughs> but it's in fact on the other side of this massive park we're in. So we can't actually go there this way, sadly. So we're gonna have to like exit into this weird corporate heist, you know, skyscraper area and try and wriggle our way around the other side of the garden. This is what happens when you don't have a plan and you just go out on a tourist thing. But I, for one, am very relieved that the palace is not in fact burnt down and all these tourists haven't come here for no reason whatsoever. Or she blows. There's the palace. We saw the palace. It's made of concrete. Didn't burn down. There's probably people living there. Probably should have known that. It's probably like the Buckingham Palace of Japan. <laughs> and everyone comes here and we just wandered over a door. It's behind us. We've got plenty of other things to do over here. We're heading south into Shiba Park and then we're going to swing over uh, to Shibuya and Akihabara and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I th I'm thinking things that are on the dock today, Jeremy, I feel like get some weird lunch. It's probably pretty high. Uh, look for some weird like electronics nonsense. Uh, but we got another subway to take. So let's see if we can do this one without getting completely lost. You know I love the Japanese subway. Yeah. <laughs> My, basically, my mission in Japan is to buy shit that I, I don't know what it is, like just non-stop. So last night I had like, like tentacles in mud or something. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna get this drink. I don't know what it says. It's got 130 of something. It's a cute corporate slogan and there's a half of your daily recommend of whatever that is. Number one thing at vending machines in Japan is whether something's hot or cold. We haven't been able to figure out what's, what's sometimes they come out hot, sometimes they come out cold. Let's do the test. Oh my god, it's so hot. It's so hot. Yeah. Is it really? It's legit. Give me your hand. It's legitimately hot. <laughs> it's a cat. Okay, we gotta figure out what this thing is. Alright, All right. it's on a Google Translate on this thing. Yeah, Google Translate is. This is so hot, I can barely hold it. <laughs> this is so hot. BBD. Oh my god, it's so hot. It's so hot. Let me. <laughs> Here. 
outside Minato City. No idea. I'm getting such a Zelda vibe off of everything we do here because it's like everything written in like once you discover it and it comes up in English, but before it's got like random symbols, you know what the fuck they are. <laughs> and then Shiba Park, which I'm gonna be completely honest, I think the only reason that rings a bell is because I played a lot of Tokyo Jungle. But it looks nice. And I think there's cherry blossoms there. So fuck it. Let's just go check it out, all right? I'm not fucking Anthony Bourdain. I don't know what we're doing. He does food. Who's the who's the who's the non-Anthony Bourdain guy? Drew Scanlon. <laughs> I'm not Drew Scanlon. I don't know what we're doing. So let's just go check it out, all right? VD. Brought to you by VD. Brought to you by venereal disease. Sorry, we don't, we're doing corporate sponsorship now. Yeah. Just this VD. One, Yo, they stole and painted the Eiffel Tower. They don't have any of it. We've done, the last time we spoke was three hours ago. They don't have trash cans here. <laughs> I'm gonna film these, because these copper ones are 10. we have to document all the beverages because the beverages are one of the most exciting facts. Yeah, this is, this I trip. love this shit. Look at this. I'm just covered in cans and I'm buying more of them. If we were live streaming, I would ask the patrons if I should get a, a Georgia European or a Georgia Black. <laughs> Look at this place. Jeez, oh, it's, it's amazing. Let me know when you're ready. So I'm ready. This is like so idyllic. Like I feel like our heart rates just like slow down or something. Uh, it's almost lunchtime. I guess it's lunchtime. So I think we're probably just gonna wander around here, shoot the park, and see. Maybe get into one of these one of these buildings and just enjoy it and slow down and maybe grab some food. It's probably not the time for talking. Maybe <laughs> maybe this is the time for listening. Let's go check it out. I should not be the person talking to you, it should be the camera op who has like a degree in like world religion or whatever. <laughs> uh, but we had a really nice peaceful time, we went into a Buddhist temple, we were, hit some drums and we were, who are we? Are we chanting to? the name of Amida Buddha. Amida Buddha, chanting the name of Amida Buddha for like a, a good like five minutes, hitting drums, closed your eyes, kind of disappeared for a little while. Uh, also the feeling on my legs went because I was sitting on my knees in that way. You know, you sit on your legs that way. I can't deal with it. My ankles are fucked. I'd be the worst Buddhist. Uh, also, then we ate some fried chicken. It's a pretty hard transition from being in the temple to chomping down on some delicious <laughs> battered chicken. Uh, and here we are in what apparently is a uh, cherry blossom <laughs> area, but these cherry blossoms ain't looking too hot right now. Uh, We've uh, had a nice time, it was nice and relaxing, and then we're going to head over to Shibuya. We've, we're kind of completing the square, as it were. Uh, we're going to head west a little bit over to Shibuya and check out some of that nonsense. Maybe check out some stores and buy some dumb shit. Buddhism. What do you do, <laughs> what do, you do after a Buddhist ceremony but go consume? Worst, worst Buddhist ever. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Every time we pass one of these machines, it's like a fucking one-armed bandit. I just can't help myself. <laughs> All right, which weird shit we're gonna buy this time? All right, uh... Fucking cider. Oh yeah. Something tells me this turn of the 19th century cider is not... is not an alcoholic. What else we got? What's over here? See, this is what I'm into. It's the stuff that has, like, no English on it whatsoever. Like... Look at this. Look at that. What do we guess this is? It's got ice cubes and it's green. I mean... Yeah. Maybe like a cold matcha or something? It doesn't seem to be in any, I don't know how much it costs. Is this machine on? Are these oh, machines on? Wait. 130. 130, thank you Jeremy Jane. You're welcome. 100, and I got 50 here. Is it hot? hot? Or cold, what's the over under? Uh, that's a, that's a cold bev. Yeah, I can cold. tell because the title is blue and the left side is all red. You think cold? Cold? Yeah. You're yeah. going cold? Yep. How much you want to bet cold? 100 yen. Super cold. <laughs> right. Where am I yet at? What do we think? What, what do we think? Uh, 
Well, should we should we use Google Translate on this? Okay. Translate Google Translate. Translate. See, the problem is we're using, it's like this stylized cam. It's not Times New Roman. No, this is not Arial. What, what does that thing say at least? Smiley face. There. Sipa. No. This thing. <laughs> Watching it like just like fluctuate in and out is just yesterday Jeremy Jeremy did Google Translate on his television and it turned a, a, a woman who was skiing down the mountain into the word made. Was it made? It was take. Ma take. The word take. Just right. again, old fashioned way. What do we think? Lime lemon? Mm, I'm, I'm going to have like a green tea. Ooh. Ooh, it's got a tang. It's a kick in a glass. Is there, is there something in here? Like, no liquid is coming out when I do this. <laughs> there's like jello, there's like white cubes in here of jelly. Oh, shake it. Shit. There's a fucking shake sign on it. It's fucking open now. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Japan. My hands are so sticky. <laughs> What's it taste like? I'll show you. Got some little jello, little jello greens here. Oh yeah, that's chunky. <laughs> Your patron money, well spent. <laughs> it tastes like... It tastes like green jelly. I'm, I'm, I'm drinking a can of green jelly. That's what's happened. My hands are covered in it. Let's go to Shibuya. <laughs> hey, what's up? Welcome to Shibuya. Look at this, look at this. Madness. Uh, Jeremy lost his camera battery. He left it on one of the trains. We suddenly have to change trains. We, we, in fairness, we did have to suddenly change trains. Uh, so we gotta go find, I mean, what better place, like Shibuya or Akihabara or someone to pick up a cannon battery, like we're gonna be okay. So we gotta do that, we're gonna look for some food, uh, and yeah, just enjoy some more here. Someone at the train station said, gave me a high five, like said, hey Danny, and gave me a high five. The internet is everywhere. <laughs> We've gone to two camera shops, we haven't, everyone sells cannon stuff, but nobody sells batteries, so. Just like Star Wars characters holding on to the edge of a table. I choose to think he's not hanging, he's just stretching. Yeah, he's at like a like a soccer game. <laughs> throwing up his hands. I'm gonna get a close up of this guy. Yeah. Hello friends, it's the next day. Um so we stopped filming because uh what what originally started out as, uh, oh, Jeremy left a battery on a train and that's okay. Uh, we'll just get a new one. We're in like the biggest electronics district in Tokyo. Uh, it turned into, oh shit, nobody sells these. Um, so for whatever reason, C100 batteries are like only sold through Canon. Uh, so we ended up running to five different shops looking for it. Nobody had them. Nobody had a power cord to use as a backup. This was our like backup battery. His batteries last for like I think it's three or four hours of shooting so it's well enough for what we have but we like to have a backup for everything I mean we have a backup camera just in case we shoot everything on this one as well just in case something goes wrong and he records onto two different uh, data cards as well uh, so we have backups for everything but suddenly we just lost our backup battery and um, we went to a Canon dealership or like a store that was their service center I guess where the people with like broken cameras bring them uh, 
they pointed us in the direction of another shop and eventually we just had to quit so we we didn't have it so while all that was going on we were basically running around the battery on my phone was dying while i was trying to get us around tokyo to find a spot uh, where we could get it um, and it didn't work out we should be okay like we have a couple of points of failure that would need that to be bad um uh, so we should be we've also got three days of filming this is the first of three um and we're doing overlaps with uh with yoshida san we're shooting interviews with him three days so we should be all right like unless i don't want to jinx it um but uh yeah i think we're okay i'm just nervous anyway this is definitely the biggest amount of prep i've ever done for a game i'm the wasn't familiar with the series wasn't familiar with uh any of squares mmos in the past and i've played a bunch of it and read a lot and spent a lot of time on Twitch streams and forums and stuff. So my brain is full of information about it going into these interviews. Um, today we're interviewing Yoshida San, we're interviewing uh, um, basically the head of their location um, team as well and we're also interviewing uh, the head of their, uh, well one of the lead guys in the communication team here in Japan as well. Um, so we've got one English speaker right in the middle which will help a bit. Um, I've never done this type of interview through a translator before, I've done plenty of GameSpot on the E3 stage. Uh, but not one of this sort of intimacy. So it's gonna be a challenge. I'm looking forward to getting in there. Uh, we're about 10 minutes walk from there, so I'm recording this right before we pick up all our bags and head down the street. Uh, so wish us luck. Yeah. School. Sounds like an unpaid internship. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, actually, yeah, I, same with the Hudson situation. Mm. Actually, I would have to pay to get into the <laughs> <laughs> I'll play Bungie Live, but I'm really just not You look smart. really pretty in this blue shirt, by the way. Thank you. It's not great. The, the pink lanyard really highlights the color of your lips. Is that right? Is that yeah. Right? A, I mean, this is an ensemble. I asked for a pink lanyard. You should, you're pointing the wrong way. You're pointing at me, but you're 20 stories up above oh, the yeah. video. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Look at this nonsense. I'd pay eighty dollars for this B-roll that I'm shooting right now. <laughs> pond five. <laughs> Should I just shoot some pond, some B-roll up here and just yeah. um, we'll make back our our. That's how we come back to Japan. We sell <laughs> plane tickets. We just get our plane tickets back. We do it. Hello, everyone. We're on our third interview of the day. Uh, we interviewed Yoshida San this morning for two hours. Interviewed uh, the head location dude, uh, Koji Fox, for about an hour a bit ago. And we've got our third interview with the lead community guy over here in Tokyo. And it's been a fucking crazy day. <laughs> <laughs> we're just hanging out in like the lunchroom of Square Enix, like, just like chilling. Everyone's just, we're listening to this sick bossa music. People just having their lunch on their laptops, doing some work. Jeremy's dancing. It's great, we're all having a good old fashioned time. So yeah, later we're going to a Final Fantasy themed restaurant to basically have dinner, like the only real meal we'll have all day today. Uh, and also shoot some B-roll. I'm not really sure for what. Maybe it's just for you. We mightn't even, I haven't figured out a way of getting it into the piece. It was just like, we're gonna go to a Final Fantasy themed restaurant. Do you wanna shoot some stuff? We're just gonna do that and see what happens. Today has been, mentally straining in a way that I've never had in my life. Or like translating, like interviewing through a translator and just dealing with like, you know the way like whenever we do this, like whenever you're doing something that's like anxiety inducing, you hold on to the things that are like reference points, like familiar, yeah. nothing about where we are is familiar. <laughs> Everything's weird. So I just feel like, I feel like I'm naked and lost in the woods yeah. doing an interview. But like blissfully naked. Yeah, oh, I'm having a great time. Like running through the woods with a smile. Yeah, but I feel like this entire day has been done, like, almost with just like, like I'm running on, what is it like? I'm in panic mode. I'm in what is it? Fight or flight. Yeah, I mean yeah. like yeah, something it's like, like the, that. The novelty of every situation just keeps driving you. Yeah, I feel like I'm having an out of body experience, and every once in a while, it's like I, every once in a while I realize what's going on, yeah. and I'm like, well, how did I end up here? <laughs> like in my life, like how did I end up? in like the 20th story of a Japanese video game developer with them like pouring their heart and soul out. Yeah, it's beautiful. Man. Right, paid for entirely by like 
internet people who want us to record this. This is just, this is like getting a little bit introspective. It might just be the jet lag and the three beers we had last night. But this is this has been a really weird day. And it's all thanks to you. And now I'm going to go because Jeremy wants to blind you. Don't look directly into the solar eclipse. <laughs> Day three. It's fucking delicious. And you got a melon cream soda? Oh yeah. Not just a melon soda, a melon cream soda. It's fucked up. Yeah, it was fucked up. It was thick. With two C's. <sighs> Another day. Yeah. Let's do it. What do you say? I saw a video of a bunch of cats up on that video, up on that last night. Where is a bird? All right, let's take the long walk. So all in five minutes. Right. This is our morning commute. <laughs> Every day. Not a bad morning commute to have, though. No, I mean, we, we're not staying in the fanciest place, but it's so close that it's like, especially when rain is involved and it might rain tomorrow. Yeah. We get to pass this sweet, it's Jeremy's favorite Coke machine. It's so cute. Everything's so or cute. Or drink machine. I was thinking last night that I've eaten and drank so much good food that I was feeling like a fat ass and I was like, hey, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have room to do a sit-up in my hotel room. <laughs> it's so small. <laughs> good luck. I went for a nice run yesterday. Um, good on you. In and around some of this. This is just like, into the right here where all these big buildings are. There was a, a weird sort of like country path. There's all these little, I don't know, like respites from big city like little parks and yeah like gardens and stuff yeah it's really nice you turn around like an oh. office building here at Shrine. here's our first game of dodge the cyclist i think she was trying to hit us i know right She's getting bonus points yeah, right? okay. endless smile laugh, endless, endless smile smile. Uh, smile that never ends look at this guy they love uh, mascots right. that's the other thing there's melodies and mascots everything's got a mascot here music in the air man yeah I wonder what the work start time is, because it's 9.10 right now, or yeah. quarter past nine. Yeah, I feel like it's shifted, maybe like, instead of like an eight to five thing, it's maybe like a nine or ten to six or seven. Yeah, but it's past nine, so. Yeah, that's right. Square Enix, here's the building. So you're shooting some external yeah. B-roll today of you the building? Have my square handlers, make sure I don't point at anything. Yeah. Uncouth. You're not allowed to record down there, for instance. So I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> there's, your, there's your permit. Patrons only. <laughs> right. Come on, Jeremy. We'll see if some of our Square Enix America friends are here. They sent a lot of people over for this. Yes, they did. They sent four or five people? Yes, it was very intimidating <laughs> yesterday when... Uh, Walking in? Patrons. <laughs> Danny was giving a pitch to a room full of Square folks. Oh, my God. They did a wonderful job. It but was, even I was intimidated. I didn't have to say a word. It was like 20 people through a translator. Yeah. I was not expecting it either, so I was like, okay. I thought I was going to pitch it to them, but <laughs> all right, I can see Ash over there. Let's go do it. We just recorded two interviews this morning. It's going to be bright this way. I don't know if it's going to be bright this way. Hopefully it's bright. Uh, we just recorded two interviews this morning. Um, we did two more hours with Yoshida-san and talked a lot about uh, 2.0. We didn't finish all our stuff about 2.0, so we've got another two hours with him. <clears throat> First thing tomorrow morning. Um, and then I had an interview with uh, Matsuda-san, who was the uh, CEO of Square Enix, who was the uh, CFO during the launch of 14, and um, uh, sort of took over um, the company, I think about three, I think it was maybe 20, I don't know, I think it was about three years ago. Um, so that was pretty intense, because we were talking to, uh, it's not very common in Japan for you to get one-on-one -on -one conversation with the CEO of a public trading company. Um, but yeah, it was very interesting to get his insight into into everything that was going on, especially as MMOs. Were, there's a lot of 
you know, design decisions don't exist in a bubble when it comes to MMOs. There's a lot of uh, a lot of money involved, and we've got some interesting back and forth between him and Yoshida-san, I think, which we're going to sort of uh, get more into tomorrow. Um, uh, but yeah, as you can tell, <laughs> pretty. These things are never that physically draining. They're always mentally draining, and there's something about talking through an interpreter which makes it very difficult. I'm usually really, really tired after doing interviews in my mouth because I'm smiling so much, because um, I'm like trying to like get people to like open up and all that. And obviously, my muscles aren't in my mouth aren't that good because I'm usually uh, not smiling all the time. As about to say, I'm not, not usually blowing dudes. <laughs> That's where my brain is right now. <laughs> um, I'm usually not, I don't know, it, 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 sorry, but to finish that thought, it's not really my mouth that's sore, it's my, like my eyes, because when they're talking to me, because I'm trying to make sure that they retain eye line with me, because they're really talking to the interpreter to my side, so I'm trying to like engage with them, so I'm like, sort of like nodding along, and especially when I understand certain words, especially English words, or what's now becoming the odd Japanese word, because there's a lot of repetition happening um, with certain technical phrases that I'm now picking up on. Um, I'm trying to like, yeah, yeah, like sort of understand and, you know, be very like sort of, um, uh, because we don't have the language for our barrier, be very like physically uh, responsive, I guess. Um, and I'm, I'm shattered. <laughs> I'm really tired. My brain is really tired. I, th I don't think the jet lag is so bad coming this way at all, I don't necessarily think that's that it. I slept for nine hours last night, like we've not been partying or anything, like we're taking this really seriously, but I'm just, I'm shattered. Um, so we've got two more interviews today um, with two of the dev team. Uh, we're talking to Mina, Mina Gawasan, who is the, uh, the one of the uh, designers on the controller. It's, you know, Final Fantasy 11 and, and also 14, you know, unique in the fact that they are MMOs, which a lot of players um, use controllers for. Last night we were at the Eorzea Cafe, which is a Final Fantasy XIV online uh, themed um, restaurant, and they had some PS4 set up with the game, and most people were using controllers. The keyboards were there, but they were using controllers, so that's gonna be interesting. Um, and then Kasuga-san, uh, sorry, Kasuga-san, who is the lead engineer. So he was part of the task force that sort of swept in when 14 launched with such a problem, uh, with so many problems. So we're gonna to talk to him about all of the technical aspects of the server crashing, running the two concurrent MMOs, running or running the, the other servers while trying to build a new system for 2.0, um, and also like just general culture questions about what was going on here around that time. Um, yeah, so in the meantime, Jeremy's out on the floor right now. They have the biggest cubicle office I have ever seen. I'll throw some B-roll that Jeremy is literally shooting right now on top of this. Um, so yeah, he's out there collecting as much of that as possible. Uh, we're not sure how much we can use or what we can use. There's way more restrictions here in Japan in terms of where you can shoot. You need permits for everything. So he's just gonna shoot some stuff and we'll ask for permission on the other side. Um, yeah, so in the meantime, I'm just watching a bunch of kids play, play tennis. Down below us, down there. And there's a swimming pool as well down there somewhere. The yeah, there you go. The kids playing soccer and stuff. I'm just enjoying the view of beautiful Tokyo and resting my eyes a little bit. Because uh, our day's not done. Once we've got the two of those done, I've got a meeting with a completely different developer about something we might do out here in the future. Another Japanese developer, um, which I unfortunately can't say. But... Uh, is that, that's going to be fun, and then got to go home and prep for tomorrow and, and sort of resort out the questions I have to ask based on what came out of today. Um, and then when we're finished tomorrow, between 10 and noon, uh, fingers crossed, uh, we're going to have some time to meet uh, Super Bunny Hop, who's in town. Um, that's the plan anyway. Um, he's leaving town though, Saturday morning, so he can only hang out tomorrow at lunchtime, so we're going to try and do that. Let's go and see if we can meet some some patrons who are in town. Uh, we have a meetup on Saturday, but I might see if we can squeeze in just to meet up with some folks who aren't gonna be around uh, Saturday, uh, tomorrow. And then on Saturday, we're recording more B-roll, and maybe the stand-ups, I have to write them, which is really hard, because this isn't gonna be done for six weeks to edit this. Four, really, because I'm going on honeymoon. Um, 
So we're going to try and write some vague stand-ups that will go on these videos. It's a busy trip. <laughs> it's fun, I'm really enjoying it, but I'm definitely feeling it a little bit today. I think Jeremy is too. So it'll be nice to tuck into bed later on tonight, I think. Anyway, in the meantime... Beautiful Tokyo. All right, Jeremy, where are we going? Uh, we're going to meet George, Chairman George of Super Bunny Off. Yeah. Excellent, excellent, super analytical, intelligent guy who makes videos about video games. All right. Yeah. And you're the one who turned him on, me on to him actually oh, yeah, years ago. Yeah, 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 I used to watch, uh, don't tell my old GameSpot bosses, but that's how I used to kill the time <laughs> watching George's videos. Amen. Yeah, it's research. Yeah. yeah. Turned out well. We're here somewhere in Shinjuku, but to find some, yeah, ramen spot. We haven't had ramen since we got here, have we? No. Yeah, no. Great. That's the, one of the last things on the bucket list. Yeah, here. we yeah. crossed off sushi to lunch. Yeah. That's pretty good. Like an <laughs> hour ago. An hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no internet. Hello! You must be meeting us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How you doing? Good to, I'm okay. How nice are to meet you, you, you doing, man? Nice, nice to meet you. I'm Jeremy. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, Jeremy. How are the things? So we, we are in Akihabara right now, in case it's not painfully obvious. Um, we're just shooting stand-ups, it's a Saturday, it's our last day. I'm trying to remember the last time we talked. I think it was, we met Chairman George. Yeah. Super Bunny Hop decided not to record any of that because he brought us straight into a restaurant. <laughs> it was super quiet and I was like, eh, let's not. And then he had to shoot off. But that was fun. He's putting up a video about a Metal Gear Solid Pachinko machine. Can you see that Pachinko place in the shot? Probably no, not. you want, you want it a might be pan? A, there's a big, we could, yeah, do the pan. Right? You could just, there's probably this Pachinko thing going on there. It's probably in there. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, the Eorzea Cafe we went to, oddly enough, is actually around the corner as well. Uh, so this, this, this part of this intersection is now quite familiar to us. So yeah. Uh, anyway, we're here in Akihabara. We're doing stand-ups. I just recorded um, the final one here for the last section. Uh, we're doing it a bit late because it's been raining. So we've still got the other two videos to do. Spoilers, it's three videos. Um, but I got this. It's all the swag we bought. But the nice man put a plastic bag over it. And I don't have the heart to rip it open. So this, this, <laughs> he bagged up things that weren't even from the store that you were buying he, stuff He from. bagged up stuff that was not even from the store. He just it was a real nice dude. Basically what I think is in there, if I try and remember, is we went to Super Potato, which is the uh, uh, sort of famous, now infamous, um, uh, video game, retro video game store. I got a Famicom in there, sick ass Japanese Famicom. I got Final Fantasy 1. I, I got a boxed copy of Final Fantasy 1 on the... Oh, what's it called? Wonder Swan. The Wonder Swan. Thank you. I was about to say the Tap Wave Zodiac. <laughs> so it was the other one. Um, I got a box copy of Final Fantasy 2 and Final Fantasy 3 on Famicom. I got Final Fantasy 10 and 10 2, and I think 12. Is that look at Jeremy's nodding in the back. He's actually the Final Fantasy expert on this team. Um, 10 was only like 180 yen. Yeah, 10 was like two bucks. Yeah, it was, it was a like song a and dance. 150. I was like, I have to buy this. It's a wooden nickel. Right? Uh, I was, oh, you know what I did get actually when I want to open? I, they've random boxes for everything, and one of the things they had 
in a random box. In a random uh, box was basically like the the like win and lose screens in Final in Street Fighter 2. Like the you know the Shenlong, you must defeat Shenlong to stand a chance shot basically. Um, so I got one of those. I don't know what one it is. So I want to. Here we are. I'll do it up close. We've got. Oh shit! I took the plastic bag off. <laughs> I could just show you the stuff now. You better hope it doesn't rain. Right. It better not rain. Oh, it's only them getting their head kicked in. It's not actually any of the win screens. It's only the lose screens. That's amazing. Blanca's is the best, though. Have you seen? Look at Blanca's one. Oh, let me zoom in Look all the way. With his fucking eyes popping out. <laughs> that messed up. Okay, I've been going on about this all week. Jeremy's probably sick about hearing it. We we're talking about Street Fighter and how like all the characters are like somewhat based in reality. I mean, Mike Tyson's in the game basically. Well, it is. They have to change his name for America. Sangeef's like Russian guy in a gulag. You've got Ihanda who's like, you know, a, a sumo wrestler. Guile's basically the quintessential top gun army officer, right? And then you've got Blanka, <laughs> who's like, it's a fucking electric zombie man from the Amazon. like. When I think about Brazilians, there's about four or five different archetypes I hit before I go for electric, like, sneak fucking man. Yeah, that's at least six down. Yeah, it's at least number six. <laughs> so, I'm probably gonna get blanket now, aren't I? Drum roll, please. Oh, it's a good one! It's a good one! Is it Chun-Li? It's Chun-Li. Oh, baby. Oh, she's crying! Oh. She's crying. <laughs> she's crying. But if you entered the stores me and Jeremy went to earlier, you don't think that's a tear. <laughs> <laughs> Tokyo's fucked up. Can't, I can't unsee it now. Here, let me, while I'm still rolling, I'm gonna do a quick, uh, quick 360 for the Sick. for the people at home. Oh yeah. This is Akihabara. It's like a totally fucking crazy place. There's some people who don't want to be on camera. Sorry, family. Sorry, small family. There's Big Apple, just like I remember it in New York. <laughs> Pachinko's big in New York, I don't know if you knew that. That's why it's the city's named after it. Yeah. The city's named after Pachinko. The big Pachinko machine, they call it. In the sky. <laughs> Alright, you, you want to wrap on this? Yeah. The heating was on last night, it was weird. Yeah, we're in the elevator, we just finished shooting. What's going we're on? We're done, we're done shooting. We're done. We're, the meetup's on in like an hour. Oh my God, Let's not bring the camera on. No. Because, fucking hell. Just spent six days walking, Jeremy walking around with a camera. Yeah, my arms are shaking. Yeah, so. Selfie. Camera selfie. Going on Snapchat, Actually, bae. This me, yeah, are you still recording? Yeah. Yeah. Talking outside someone's room, it's gonna be freaking a mess. Okay, this it's... might actually be the last time we record something, right? Yeah, I guess. Because you're heading out tomorrow morning? Because yeah. we're putting the camera away. Yeah. I'm packing up all my stuff now. We've got the meet up in like 45 minutes or something. Hmm. Yeah, so. It's been a hell of a week. I have nothing else to say. My brain is, my brain is beard papa right now. My brain is yakitori. <laughs> and my, my brain is chicken livers. My body is every type of food I've ever desired to eat in my life. <laughs> uh, it's been a crazy week. I'm sure you'll hear more about it over the next couple of weeks when we start putting stuff out. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes. And we're gonna go and hang out with some patrons and people now. And just fucking hang out with Godzilla. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.